Okay, here we are inside the 220 VRBX, Sonic X. All right, this is based on our very popular 220 VRB floor plan in our regular Sonic line, um, but with a, a ton of upgrades. Um, a lot of things to talk about inside here. Uh, this is probably the roomiest small camper you're going to find for its size. 22 footer, uh, I challenge you to find one with more storage and more living space in 22 feet with a better bathroom. When we get back there, you'll see what I mean. So um, our 220 VRBX comes with a Murphy bed. Now this is a great space saving uh, feature. The problem is some people look at Murphy beds and they say, I don't know if I like Murphy beds. That's generally because most Murphy beds are, are poorly designed. You have to give something up to get a Murphy bed. With this Murphy bed, it's all plus. Okay? Um, there's storage. This, so Murphy beds have to be easy to operate and they have to be comfortable. All right? So this takes about 10 seconds to put up or down. You see the silver just jack nice, lays down like a futon. And look at all the storage underneath there. This is the same type of storage you have if this was a, a permanent bed. So again, it lays right down. The deck folds down. The mattress literally unfolds. Okay? You have a very uh, easy to operate, comfortable mattress. Now, this is a firm mattress. If you like your mattresses a little softer, you can get a pillow topper for this. And um, it solves that problem. But a lot of Murphy beds, when you operate them, the whole bed deck rotates. And when that happens, the head of the bed swings down through this area here. And on the other side of this is all your outside storage. Remember that 35 cubic feet of outside storage I mentioned outside? That all goes away with that type of bed design. But with this, the mattress folds. It's a hinge. You've got two hinges in it. And it literally sits on top of your outside storage. So you haven't given up a thing, but you've you gained a comfortable bed and a sofa. And then a couple things we do, we have your reading lights on the front wall here so they're not shining directly in your face. And we cut out the backs here. We call this a Stormore nightstand. It's a great little cubby for your book, a, a bottle of water. Uh, if you're a CPAP user, you can plug it in back there. So it's just a little nook. That, that space behind the, sh behind the shirt closet was always hard to get to uh, and, and utilize anyway, so we created usable space with it. Okay? So, best Murphy bed design in the industry, folds right up, takes about 10 seconds to put up or down. You can literally leave all your blankets and covers on here, your pillows, there's plenty of room for them all up in front here when you fold it up. And for me, I needed one of these when I was a kid because then I'd never have to make my bed. Then of course you have shirt, uh, closet storage on either side, and you also have storage above. Okay. Great space saving feature, uh, creates a living area uh, where you know a lot of times it's just a, a Murphy bed here. And having an island bed is nice too, instead of it being pushed up in the corner, which a lot of times in your smaller ones that's what you get. <clears throat> All right, so we switched positions here. I want to show you uh, some of our hidden storage. We call this the Safe Tech box. All right, all Sonics uh, and Sonic X's have a hidden compartment in the end of a counter uh, cabinet, I should say. Um, that hide switches and, and gauges and whatnot, and also has a charging station. You have USB and you have 110, so you can recharge your electronics. Uh, and also, it's a nice little hidey, hidey hole for keys or a wallet or anything you want out of the way, um, and you don't want laying all over the counter. But um, with the Sonic X, this is also where the power monitor system lives, uh, so you can see what the output and the drain on the on the um, the electrical system is okay but all your switches are in here lights and awnings and, and slide outs all right so we call that the safe tech box and uh we have so much storage uh in the sonic x we have to hide some of it <laughs> this pantry down here this area down here is wide open for a trash can we like to try to put uh space for a trash can whenever we can um the sonic x has solid surface countertops okay this is a resin countertop just like a corian um, stainless steel fixtures and a stainless steel sink. Um, I really like this sink cover because not only does it create more counter space, but you can use it as a drain board as well. When you're doing dishes, you can drain your dishes right on here. Okay. Um, we've gone to a medium color uh, wood for this year uh, with some nice uh, glass accents um, and tons of storage inside. You can see all the great stuff we put in here. 
And then some of the nice little features like I like the designer backsplash. Some of the little touches that to me that's that's what that's what makes this puts it over the top as far as design is concerned. You got a Ferion three burner cooktop with a fold up uh, lid, it acts as a backsplash as well. Oven below, microwave above, and then great storage. I mentioned how much storage the 220 VRBX has. For a 22 footer, I will challenge you to find one with more storage than this. You have overhead, you have under counter, you have drawers. Uh, there's, oh. Looks like it's snack time. We have uh, a pantry here. You won't be able to see inside here completely, but this is about 30 inches deep. It's about two and a half feet deep and 18 inches wide. So just to give you an idea, if I reach my arm in there, the tip of my finger is touching, it's that deep. Okay? And you have the same thing on top. Big double door refrigerator. And remember, again, this all runs off the solar power. You have 400 watts on the roof, and you've got, uh, you've got um, um, a 2,000 watt inverter with a 100 amp charger. Um, I also should mention that you've got 90 gallons of fresh water capacity on the Sonic X. So, two 45 gallon tanks, which again is big for something this size. Now, if we look over at the dinette, we talked about storage, there's even more storage. You have easy access under both dinette seats, and we've opened this up uh, to make it easy to put totes or, you know, this might be a great place if you are uh, a pet lover, you might have a cat and a kitty litter box to go underneath there, or a small dog bed, or just great easy access and, and usable. Of course, this uh, dinette does drop down into uh, what amounts to a double bed. So the tabletop comes off the legs, the legs come out of the floor, the top drops down onto these cleats, the cushions come together, and you've got a, another sleeping area for when you have guests that uh, arrive. Now, the great thing is, since it's all cushions, um, it's comfortable, but you know they're not going to want to stay too long. Okay, let's show you one of the best bathrooms in the industry, especially the 22-footer. Okay. So, uh, I left the door open because this uh, shirt closet is this wide and it is, you know, super deep. It's got hanging rods. There's even a gun safe in here. Remember, this is an off-the-grid uh, off unit. So, you have a lockable, secure place to keep your firearms and your hunting rifles and whatnot. Okay, so lots and lots of storage. And then if we come in around the corner, you'll see even our counter designs add storage. So not only have good counter space here, but we've created another little storage area here with countertop uh, uh, above. Medicine cabinet, so a very good creative use of space. Uh, the toilets are porcelain. A lot of times in lights and ultralights, you get a plastic toilet that discolors and scratches. And then you've got a 36 inch um, radius shower. But what's great about these showers is they're very space efficient. You don't have to have room for a door to swing into the room and you never get any water dripping off the door. All the water stays right in the pan of the shower and uh, gives you a little extra elbow room when you're in the shower. So one of the best layouts on a 22 footer, the most storage uh, I think you're going to find in a 22 footer. Um, the, um, I just remembered something I forgot to talk about. Um, the, uh, we have a leveling indicator, a level indicator called the LevelMate Pro. It comes on every Sonic X. Uh, and what this does is it tells you whether your uh, camper is level or how far out of level it is. So it communicates with an app on your phone. Uh, let's say you back into your campsite and you turn your app on and, and it says the left side uh, needs to go up three inches. You get out, you build your blocks up three inches, you back up onto it and you're level the first time every time. And it does the same thing when you disconnect from your tow vehicle. It'll tell you, okay, now bring the tongue up uh, five inches. And the light turns from red to green and you're, and you're level. The nice thing about this is it's included on every single unit we build. 
Um, it doesn't cost uh, twenty five hundred or three thousand uh, dollars, you know, to add a automatic leveling system like a lot of them, a lot of manufacturers do, um, and it's very simple. It's easy to do. It tells you immediately what you need to do to make your camper level. None of this guessing off and on, and you know, with your bubble level. Oh, I'm still a half a bubble off. Let's put another half inch on it. So. Um, and that comes with every single one. So, as I was saying, 22 foot, amazing storage inside, great layout. It's one of our most popular layouts, and the Sonic X features just enhance all of that. Um, completely off the grid, uh, capable. You can stay disconnected as long as you want, um, and it's available at your uh, local uh, Venture RV dealer, or for more information, look on our website at venture-rv.com. Thanks for coming to see us today.